In the previous video, we learned about the vif, vlse and vlsf directives to conditionally render elements. Now it turns out that view provides another directive to conditionally display an HTML element. And that is the vshow directive. Let's understand about vshow with an example. I'm going to create a new HTML element, h2. The text is going to be using vshow. And we use the vshow directive on this element. Just like the vif directive, you can assign any JavaScript expression to the directive. If the expression evaluates to true, the element will be shown. If it evaluates to false, it will be hidden. I'm going to create a data property called show element, set it to true and assign it to the vshow directive. So vshow is equal to show element. Since the expression evaluates to true, if we save the file and take a look at the browser, we should be able to see the h2 element using vshow. If we go back to our code, set show element to false, you can see that the element is now hidden. So that is pretty much the functioning of the vshow directive. It shows or hides an element based on the expression assigned to it. Now I'm pretty sure this raises a question in your mind. If vshow is doing the same thing as vif, what is the difference between them? If there is a difference, when should we use one over the other? Let's understand that. So back in VS Code, I'm going to duplicate this h2 element but use vif instead of vshow. I'm going to set show element to true so that both the elements are displayed in the browser. If I take a look at the browser, inspect the elements, you can see both the elements in the DOM using vshow, using vif. If I now set the show element property to false, you can now see that the vif conditional element is not at all present in the DOM, but the vshow conditional element is still present with the display CSS property set to none. This is the difference between vif and vshow. vif will mount the element onto the DOM if the condition evaluates to true and remove the element from the DOM if the condition evaluates to false. An element with vshow directive, however, will always be rendered and remain in the DOM. Only the display CSS property is toggled to show or hide the element. So, if you have an element that is going to be toggled back and forth in the UI, using vshow is the right approach because mounting and unmounting elements onto the DOM can be expensive. Simply toggling the display CSS property is the more efficient approach which you can do so with the vshow directive. On the other hand, if the rendering condition for an element is unlikely to change during runtime or if there are several elements that depend on a single condition, vif is the better choice of directives. So these are the four directives pertaining to conditional rendering in Vue. vif, vlsif and vlse directives which mount or unmount elements to the DOM and the vshow directive which toggles the display CSS property. Conditional rendering is something you'll be using a lot in your template, so make sure to remember how each of these directives work. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at rendering a list of elements in view. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.